I've just watched episode six of The Rings of Power and wow, I get why episode five was a bit of a filler episode because they were really saving it for what episode six had in store for us. We kick things off straight into the action. The orcs arrive at the tower. After episode five where I was really waiting for this action to happen, it was awesome to just see the action kick off like that. We sort of got this hint of what they might do with the tower when they stared up at it in the previous episode. And I'm glad that wasn't the big finale because we kind of had a feeling that might happen. So to see that happen so quickly was good. I'm glad they progressed quickly there. We see the Numenorians sailing towards Middle Earth. I like this scene because we got to see a bit more of a dynamic between Galadriel and Isildur. I think this was a strong Isildur episode. We've seen a lot of him in the previous episodes. I guess I just haven't really cared about his character so far. Isildur's presence now seems more impactful as opposed to this fly on the wall that was watching his friends do more interesting things than he was. The build up towards the battle in the small village of the Southlands I thought was done really well. Really made you feel like you were in this village and the stakes were suddenly quite high. I think it's an effective thing to have a small scale battle like that because they can be a bit more immersive than say an epic 10,000 unit army. This felt real. I really like the tactics they employed where instead of just charging at the orcs from a hidden location, they set up these ambushes and decided to pick them off one by one with arrows. This felt like a tactic a village might employ if a larger army is attacking them. I also loved how they just didn't hold back with the brutality of this scene, especially when Bronwyn is struggling to, to light the fire and that orc is approaching them. The way the orc brutally murdered Bronwyn's friend, I thought really showed how they're just not holding back in this episode. And I think that's a new thing for us in the Lord of the Rings world. Like usually the violence is slightly dialed back, but this was very real. Another thing that added to this brutality was the element of surprise where we find the humans that betrayed the Southlanders have been used, I guess, as a meat shield in order to soak up the damage. First of all, a pretty smart tactic from the orcs and also very daunting. All of a sudden, that hope that you got is now diminished again and you're thinking, how the hell are they going to get out of this situation? All this time, you do feel like the Numenorians are quite far away, but at the same time, you really do hope that they're gonna rescue them because I wasn't sure how else they were gonna get out of it. One thing I loved as well was Bronwyn when she was wounded. The moment when Theo and Arendir have to address her arrow wound, again, felt quite realistic. I, I, it felt like what you would have to do I think if someone is wounded with an arrow. They didn't hold back with the visuals in that scene. I like that as well. It was hard to watch, but at the same time, I think a lot of fantasy shows, people get shot with arrows and they seem to be okay after a half an hour's rest. The stakes were very high here and I don't know, I didn't want Bronwyn to die. So I, I thought that was a pretty sad scene. Let's talk about horses and chase scenes and galloping scenes because they were epic in this episode. The scene where the Numenorians are riding towards the village, that gave me chills, that scene. And seeing Galadriel at the front is sort of, I think, what we've been waiting for with this whole Galadriel building this army. Like, this is what we've been wanting to see for the last five episodes. And I think they really delivered here. This was very epic. The other horse scene I loved was the chase between Galadriel and Adar. This really reminded me of that epic chase between the Ringwraiths and Arwen in The Fellowship of the Ring. Sliding between trees, a bit disorientating, but at the same time immersive. And you feel like they're gonna trip over a tree trunk or a rock at any point, but at the same time, they're very skilled and shot really well. The final thing that I loved about this was the scene between Galadriel and Adar in the stable. Leading up to this episode, there's been a lot of discussion of the darkness within Galadriel and I haven't really bought into it as much as the show has been trying to get me to, I think. But seeing this scene when Galadriel is basically saying, I'm gonna eradicate your kind to Adar, you suddenly do feel for Adar and the orcs and that they have been, I guess, used for Sauron's evil schemes for years and years. And maybe Gil-galad was right and Galadriel had to get out of here that she is potentially a destructive force because of the darkness that's residing in her. I'm interested to see what they do with this storyline. Maybe they're gonna make some total changes in this. I actually wouldn't mind if they did that. Like, I'm kind of getting to the point now where the lore and the source material thing, I'm sort of not really caring about. I think YouTuber Daniel Green put it pretty well on that. They could potentially just throw all the lore out the window and make a pretty entertaining show. I think sometimes the law can hold some shows back and if Galadriel turns out to be evil Galadriel, then I will watch that show. I'll do one spoiler prediction. If you want to stop watching now, I'll give you the countdown. So the volcano erupts. I think this is the creation of Mount Doom. So you saw the river water and the lava meeting. I think this is something that has been touched on in a few previous episodes where the mention of the creation of Mithril was two forces of good and darkness the Balrog and this pure elf. Their conflict created the Mithril because of this pureness of the elves, but also the strength and darkness of 
evil. Maybe that's what Sauron needed to create, to create what he needed to forge the One Ring, the pureness of the river meets the destructive force of the volcano. Anyway, that's what I think. I think that's gonna be Mordor and I was not expecting that to happen so quickly. Again, love that it just happened so fast and we ha we're not waiting for the volcano to erupt, all these scenes to happen, it's to happen now. And I'm back on board with this show. I was a bit worried in the last episode, but they've won me over again.